Insect food is everywhere. It's a time when the search for a meal is made easy and a good time to raise a new family. Several of the older females have given birth underground at the same time, and their young, now three weeks old, are beginning to venture into the daylight. To help prevent any predators getting a fix on the vulnerable youngsters, they're moved from one den site to another every four days or so. It's a task undertaken by the whole gang and has to be done swiftly and carefully. The babies can barely walk and would be an easy meal for any passing hunter. With the last of the babies safely transported, the move is complete. But this new den is very close to the border of the gang's territory. and the neighbouring pack is far from friendly. Most of the gang sets off on a foraging trip, leaving three babysitters behind. This duty is shared by the gang members and the adults show enormous patience and care towards the young. Only when a baby tries to suckle does this male push it to one side. Indeed, most of the babysitting is carried out by the non-breeding males in the pack. The rest of the gang is now feeding some distance away, preoccupied by the rich pickings of grubs and beetles to be found in elephant dung. It's a chance for the neighbours to attack the den and reclaim their territory. The babysitters spot their approach at the last moment and rush the youngsters underground. Just in time. The odds are not good. It's 15 against 3. It's not uncommon for rival mongoose packs to fight and kill the young of their neighbours. Despite the imbalance in numbers, the babysitters hold their own, defending every entrance to the den with vicious bites at their attackers. In time, the rivals admit defeat and move on.